most college seniors have graduated by now and headed out into a world of economic and career uncertainty. A good time for some bucking up. And that's tonight's Sunday cover. Commencement speakers with words of encouragement for the college class of 2010. As idealistic as all of you may be, what your generation has lived through has also tempered you with a deep realism that so many of today's challenges are borderless and that solving those problems demands cooperation with others. The myth of the risk-free life is just that, a myth. Commit to your family and your friends. Commit to your parents. One day, you will fully understand what your parents did for you, and you will want to thank them while they can still see you and hear you. Parents, this is such a great day for you. You finally don't have to be responsible anymore for your kids. That's the good news. The bad news may be they could be moving back in with you, so be prepared. You should take a pledge. You'll say to yourself that I'm not a job seeker. I'm a job giver. I am an example of what is called the American dream. I've seen what a lot of people thought was impossible. I've seen me on a donkey, getting on an airplane, landing in America, playing Madison Square Garden, and then taking that dream back to my country. I was told to my face, you're, you're nothing but a giant muscle. You can't act. You have no future and you have an accent that is laughable. And that's exactly what my wife Maria said to me on our first date. Even if you're not following your bliss right away, a less than dreamy job can actually help you achieve your dreams. You'll learn what you don't want and you may meet people who can lead you to what you do. Do your best, set your expectations high. Remember always true greatness comes not from the battles we win, but from the battles we choose to fight. Still the memory of old Henry grows to us more deep. You're supposed to have moments of uncertainty about which path to take because the 20s are full of crossroads. By the way, I think it's always a good move to listen to that inner voice if it doesn't lead to a crime. <laughs> you might think that I'm now going to advise you not to be afraid to fail. I'm not. Be afraid. <laughs> Speaking from considerable experience, failing stinks. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I love making money. I love it, really, I love it. <laughs> you have to remember, you will more likely find that pot of gold if you follow your passion, are driven to succeed, and open to learning more as you go. As you consider what to do now, you shouldn't necessarily feel that your next step is the most important one you'll ever take. It's not. You're going to go down many paths that go nowhere especially you English majors. <laughs> you need to arrive early, you need to stay late, you need to make yourself indispensable. You should probably also get rid of all those Facebook photos you passed out on Bourbon Street. Just an idea, just a suggestion. By changing your life through your own education, you have prepared yourself to change the world for others. Now more than ever, we need you. Between our iPods and Blackberries, life on its surface may feel easier today than ever. The truth is that there is nothing easy about 2010, which means you have a choice to make. You can decide that life has dealt you a bad hand and you can give up. Or class of 2010, you can decide to accept the challenges that confront you and you can look up. And because it's dark enough, you can see the stars. Years from now, when you return here, I have no doubt that we will have prevailed in the struggles of our times. 
I have no doubt that your legacy will be an America that has emerged stronger in a world that is more just. Class of 2010, dismissed! Yeah!